We previously looked at the living atlas layers and how you can add data to your map through that venue. Let's go and click on add again, and let's actually this time click search for layers. This will bring up the layer search feature. And two things jump out immediately that you need to be aware of. The default setting is to search within your organization. Now, this is my school account, and I have, I don't know, 300 some layers available through that account. But let's say I'm looking for a category or a subject matter that I know I've never created a layer for. I don't want to search within my organization. I want to search what you know out there what everyone has done. And so I'll change this to ArcGIS Online. Now you can see if we go back, I can also search the Living Atlas, but I think it's easier to just click on the ad and browse Living Atlas layer that way. So click ArcGIS Online. Here's another thing that often causes stumbles for people, and that is the within map area feature. If you know you're looking for a particular layer and you want it and it's associated with say Canada, and you can see Canada is visible on my map, you might want to click that. But if you're looking for a layer that may apply to the entirety of the world, uncheck this. And you can now see that through Esri, there are 744,725 layers available. We don't need that many. Uh, we need to narrow our search field down. And so whatever it is you're searching for, you know, just use your good search term practices, right? Um, one layer set that's of particular note to social studies teachers would be the David Rumsey app collection. And if you just type in David Rumsey, you can see we end up with about 67 results. And the main provider of those is this tag right here, David Rumsey Maps. If I scroll through my list, I can start to see that there's some other contributors, Story Maps, Ahoff underscore Teach. Now, I don't really know the validity of these, okay? Um, it's worth, if, if you think something looks good there, it, it's worth clicking add and, and taking it for a test drive, vetting it out yourself and, and, and seeing if it works for you. You know, but if you say, if you think, oh, I only really want a David Rumsey map, then refine your search down by just typing in the entire title of how David Rumsey's maps are uploaded. Click on go. And here we can see we have plenty of David Rumsey maps to choose from. Now to add these maps on, you would just click add. So here's the United States 1816. Then you can see we get this map and zoom in. Notice that the map is, is pretty pixelated because the zoom does not match the rendering or you know the scale of my digital map. But as I zoom in, I start to actually hit that point. Okay, well, there we go, a little bit closer. And so we can start to see this map come in to view. And you can see these maps might take a little while to render and you can see some pixelation there. But here is a map of the United States in 1816. It's a great tool for your students uh, to kind of get a look at what the United States looked like 200 years ago. You know, one of the great aspects of geography is how places change and why some places are important or were important and are no longer important. You know, growing up in Pennsylvania, you know, I, I look at some of these city names and I think, wow, why is that town important in 1816, whereas today it might not be as important and you can look at those differences. So the, that's the David Rumsey map collection. It's a, a veritable treasure trove of, of base maps and, and map layers. And if I click on done adding layers, you can see it's there as a map layer. I can turn it on, I can turn it off. And I'm just gonna leave that sit idly by and turn it off. I'm gonna click back on add and search for layers. And let's say I'm looking for information on, I don't know, the War of 1812. So I type in the War of 1812. Make sure I'm searching within ArcGIS Online. Click Go. And I have 31 results. And here, again, this is where you, know, you want to look at your source. Who is providing you with this map? I don't know who S. Jansen is. But if I click, I can kind of get a detail of, of what their map is is showing. And this is points of interest for the War of 1812 map collection. I don't know whose points of interest those are. So I would want to be careful with using this with students. I'd, I'd certainly want to put it on my map and take a look at it and see if it's valid and see if it's useful. 
a good strategy is if it has ESRI on it, it it's, it's usually a good map. Um, but as I look, you know, there's S. Jansen again, seems to have made you know, quite a number of, of maps. And so perhaps this is someone who's doing some scholarly work on the War of 1812. Certainly, from the looks of it, it appears so. Uh, here's the geo inquiry map, right? So you don't even have to go to the geo inquiry. You can just use the map that was provided for the inquiry. This is a great way to just kind of let your kids extend that activity. And as we see, um, that map is major battles to the war of 1812. Let's click on some of these points and see if there's any, any more details and, and we can kind of see. And so this looks like it might be better viewed within the geo inquiry field, but just continuing to search through, you know, it is, it's not an exact science. You may not find what it is you're looking for. Good search habits, right? Um, you know, let's try capitalizing the war of 1812 31 result and it stays the same so it's not case sensitive but you as as a teacher as as the person using these maps to present information to your students or if your students are searching for these you know this is a great way to teach them how do i search for useful material i i, I don't want to and how do i search for sourced material right you know we, we get into that relationship of trusting your sources so that's another way to add data to your map. And, and these are ready-made layers. In next week's module, you'll learn how to create your own layers and, and push those up as services that you can actually search through over here. Thanks.